Overseas now to Gaza with the Muslim holy month of Ramadan now underway and a growing rift between President Biden and Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu. At a congressional hearing today on global threats, Avril Haines, the director of national intelligence, warned that the war in Gaza will likely have a generational impact on terrorism. Now, this is the U.S. military today conducted its seventh airdrop of humanitarian aid to the region. CBS's Chris Livesay reports tonight from Jerusalem. With ceasefire negotiations failing, Israel says it's mobilizing for an offensive on Rafah, a Hamas stronghold, but also a refuge to one and a half million Palestinians. Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu is vowing his military will push ahead regardless of concerns from the White House, arguing any friction with the U.S., Israel's biggest ally, emboldens Hamas. To the extent that Hamas believes that there's daylight between us, that doesn't help. President Biden has been sharpening his criticism of Netanyahu over the loss of civilian life in Gaza. He's hurting Israel more than helping Israel by making the rest of the world. It's contrary to what Israel stands for. Israel insists it will allow a major evacuation of Rafah before the offensive, but hasn't revealed exactly how. This week marks the start of Ramadan, the Islamic holy month, a time of prayer and fasting, but in recent years, violence as well over Israeli restrictions on accessing Muslim holy sites in Jerusalem. Muslims are heading to the Al-Aqsa Mosque compound. It's been a flashpoint in Ramadan's past, and this year, with the war in Gaza, tensions are boiling. Palestinians. Samar Sinij Lawi is an activist with the Palestinian political party, Fatah. On Ramadan, Everybody suddenly will feel that he has a sense of responsibility to act, not only to show solidarity. Suddenly the images that are coming out of Gaza that generated some kind of grief and sorrow will be translated into anger. Now, hopes for a ceasefire aren't dead. CIA Director Bill Burns was in the region this weekend to negotiate. Now, Israel, the government here in Jerusalem, is insisting Hamas release the dozens of Israeli hostages it's been holding for five months. But so far, Nora, Hamas is refusing. Chris Livesay with that new reporting. Thank you.